Hey, Matt here. Wanted to talk about my second Scrapebox helper tool. So this is actually a database driven tool. Now it does not run, not all functions run on 64-bit systems. You see when you load it up on a 64-bit system, which is what mine is, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get this error. This is unfortunately an error um, that is because of the way it was designed and um, we're too far into the development to change this. Um, so on a 32-bit system everything works great. On a 64-bit system only some things work. So if you're running 64-bit just hit continue and then you'll see this. Um, if you're running a 32-bit system you can use the import database, the settings, and the search. Um, if you're running a, that's if you're running a 32-bit system. If you're running a 64-bit system you can only use the tools tab. 32-bit um, systems can actually use all the tabs. So if I were running a 32-bit system, I could do a lot of different things. I can actually browse for files and then select them, and then I would have to then import them into the database, which it'll show down here. Once they're imported into the database, then I can go to settings, and I can actually choose if I want to, again, trim the URLs to root and remove duplicates, or just filter duplicate URLs. If I, and then it's going to ask me how many I want to keep from each one. So if I only want to keep one from each one, that's the same as filtering duplicate domains. If I wanted to keep, say, 10 from each one, then I can keep 10 URLs from each um, domain, and that way I can comment on up to 10 URLs from each domain, or whatever you want. And then I can also choose to remove the root domains from the list as well, which because obviously those aren't commentable. I would then specify my file name, and then I would select the folder to put that in, and then I can also specify to have the, the resulting file split. So if I imported 20 million files into the database and I wanted to have it split, when it's all said and done, split into 1 million lines, I would go over here. You can't go less than 1,000, but I go over here and put a million in. Um, and then it would split everything into one million lines so that they're compatible with Scrapebox. Once your settings are all selected here, you need to hit Save Settings, and it'll pop your settings down here as a saved file. You go back to Import Database, and that will show up here, and you actually have to click on and select that settings file, and then you hit Go. And it'll process, and when it's done, it'll let you know that it's done, and you're good to go. Search works the same way. Um, you can search within text so if you're looking for like say all .com domains or all .net or .co.uk you can search. Now Scrapebox actually has a new built-in function that allows you to filter um, by containing with and by not containing. Um, it's under the filter tab um, and it's actually going to be more efficient than the search. Again this was developed before Scrapebox released this feature so um, generally I would say use Scrapebox for that feature. Um, so quick quick re recap of that was if I wanted to use the database part of this, I select my files, I have to then import them into the database, then I choose my settings, then I have to save my settings, which go down here, I go back to import database, select that settings file, and hit go, and it will do the rest. Now if I go to the tools tab, this is going to work on 64 and 32-bit systems. This is just general tools. I didn't choose the icons, it wasn't my choice, but it works. Um, you have the merge files option, so you can take, you know, 50 files and merge them together. You have split files, so if you're working with files from somewhere else that you've um, got, like my first tool um, in the first video, if you wind up with a file that's got like 3 million lines in it and you want to split that apart, you can do so here. Line counting, if you just wanted to count the lines in the file, um, and then you can actually go to URL tools and you can also remove the duplicate uh, or the actual root domains rather from it. Um, the other first tool I'll show you will do that as well um, and then you can actually do that through the database part of it. But um, the, the big takeaways here are if you have a 32-bit system you can select your number of URLs um, and remove root domains and everything all in one. If you don't have a 32-bit system you still be able to merge files split files and then um, remove root domains and the first tool I had will let you remove duplicate URLs at a high speed rate as well as remove root domains. And that's it.